up, everybody? It is another Winning Wednesday. So what's up, you guys? I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Winning Wednesday. I'm here with lovely <laughs> Anaya. And because we are all home together, my kids are just all running around everywhere. So there really isn't a spot for me to get alone and do this Winning Wednesday. So if you see my kids running in and out of the video, I apologize, but we're in this thing together. On my channel, I do post family vlogs. I post words of encouragement, which are my Winning Wednesdays and other words of encouragement. Um... And I also post lifestyle. I also post hair. So my channel is a combination of just my life in general. But um, today I want to just thank everyone who has subscribed. Um, I got some new subscribers this week. So welcome to the SDB family. And I want to thank all of you who have been watching my videos. I did post one on Monday. It was kind of late. So if you have a chance, go back and watch that one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're watching this video, please click the subscribe button today. Um, so what I'm talking about today is just appreciation. Um, I know that in life, sometimes we do things for people. Um, as human beings, we just like to be appreciated in general. And a lot of times when we do things for people and they don't appreciate us or they don't say thank you or um, they don't say anything at all, it can make us feel some type of way. And when I say some type of way, I mean like, you're like, wow, I just went through all this trouble and they didn't even say anything to me. Like, what is this about? Like, what's up? So in our daily lives, we go through periods of feeling unappreciated. I know that I've been waking up and just feeling an urge to really, really worship and appreciate God for all that he's doing, all that he's done. Um, and I know that as human beings, if we can feel some type of way because people don't appreciate us, imagine how God feels. He's doing all these things for us every day, keeping us um, giving us peace, giving us joy, keeping our minds stable. He's keeping our family safe. Um, and even in the midst of what seems like confusion or chaos in our lives sometimes, God is still there. He's still there leading, guiding, giving peace and making ways even when we don't feel like he is. And a lot of times we forget to appreciate him. We forget to just stop and say, God, I just thank you for the food that we have to eat today. God, I just thank you for waking me up, giving me breath in my body. God, I just thank you that my family and my loved ones were safe today. Just day by day, just whatever he's doing for you. God, I just thank you for that dollar I found on the ground. God, I just thank you for um, my kids went out and rode their bikes and they returned home safely. Just everything that he's doing. Um, I've just been feeling an urge to just really, really show God that I appreciate him and to tell him and to worship him. So I just want to admonish you all today that even though we are in a place that is different and weird for a lot of us, um, appreciate God for what he's doing. Um, for some of us, we are sure what he's doing because we know that God is giving us time. He's removing excuses for some of us. He's He's doing a lot in everybody's life. You really have to seek him to figure out what he wants you to do at this time. But I know for myself, I know what God is doing. I can see what God is doing. And so I have to appreciate him for where I am and what God has done. And I believe that Paul um, stated, we always quote the scripture, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. But in that very same passage in that chapter, Paul is talking about, I know how to um, be abased and I know how to abound in whatever state I'm in. I'm content. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. We always read that part, but we don't consider the other things that he's saying. Wherever God has him, he's content and he's appreciative of it. And a lot of times when God has us in tough positions, 
we're not appreciative for that. We're not appreciative for our trials or our tribulations or um, things going wrong. I can speak for myself and say when things go wrong, I'm like, God, what are you doing? Are you punishing me? Oh my God. You know, it's like we freak out instead of just saying, God, I thank you for this because you're teaching me something through this and something is going to come out of this. I am learning to be content in whatever state that God has me in. If God has allowed something in my life, it's for the making of me. It's for perfecting me. So I have to get out of the normal response of, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, and relax in the situation and say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can weather this storm. Whatever God is trying to do in my life, God, do it. You know, um, we have to learn how to relax, how to yield to the spirit and how to see beyond our emotions and our feelings about things and say, okay, God, this is tough. This is really hard, but whatever you're doing this for, let me learn what I'm supposed to learn and let me be able to share that with others. So I just want to encourage you guys that whatever state you're in, wherever God has you right now, be appreciative for where you are. Learn how to appreciate God more for the things that he's doing for you um, and in your life. And even when you can't see it, still worship, still appreciate God for what he's doing because you're alive. I wore this shirt today. <laughs> alive. I'm just appreciative for even being alive. As long as you're alive, God has purpose for you in this earth. So be appreciative for your life. Even when it seems like um, things are not going well or things may be contrary to where you thought you would be at this point, you are alive, which means that there is still purpose for you. God has a plan for you. And it may not have come into fruition yet, but God is grooming you for something great. So don't despise where you are. Be content where you are and enjoy the process. Whatever you're learning, wherever God has you, it's for a reason. You may not see it now, but you'll see it later. So I just want to encourage you guys on this Winning Wednesday. Let's wrap up our appreciation for God and our appreciation for those who are in our lives. People that God has placed in your lives, the things that they're doing for you, if they encourage you in any way, whatever um, anybody is doing for you or giving to you in any kind of way, appreciate those people, appreciate your circle of friends, appreciate your family, appreciate your coworkers, um, anybody who is who God has placed in your life, who is pouring into you in any way, your pastors, your brothers and sisters in Christ, whoever is in your life that is pouring into you in any way, appreciate those people um, and appreciate God. Um, so that's my encouragement for this Winning Wednesday. I just wanted to send that you guys this way and encourage you all to just be more appreciative for everything, even the bad things. And I know that that's tough, but we're all growing in that area of though he slay me yet will I trust him I'm going to appreciate God even in the hard times because I know that this is not going to last long but it's going to pass so I'm going to be appreciative I'm going to thank God I'm going to praise God I'm going to worship I'm going to give God all of me so I love you guys and I will see you in the next video they will see you in the next video